Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And this part of the, the file was sent to me by a viewer or subscriber, and he has a pretty good question. And I went ahead and started another one and filled it in with the Smart Fill tool. So I'm just taking a Smart Fill tool and I'm filling it, and I've already pre done some of them so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me painstakingly fill in lines. But he's got to do a bunch of them, and he wanted to know how he could change the colors from each star. Now, if you look, I'm not grabbing, I'm not grabbing anything but the star. But you cannot, let's actually take away the outline the way it's supposed to be. You can't just make it red. You can't make the blue red because it's a smart fill. But what you can, so what he's got to do, he's got to do make a bunch of these stars, all different colors. Now, one thing you can do, so if you look, we're going to press red and it just makes the whole thing red. So what you can do is grab the whole thing and make a border. And if we move the border out of the way, then you can make them, let's make a couple of them. Then, because it's a border, you can make them whatever color you wanted. You could fill them in with whatever uh, color your heart's desired. That's because the, the border tool has sealed in, like this is not. So these are actual pieces of smart fill. Now, I guess you could go individually and change that, but you cannot change them all at one time because that happens. So what you need to do, and we'll just go ahead and take this one that's just a border and we'll make a, create a boundary around it. And what that did, they made it, now it's individual sections, but it's all together. So let's pick another color that would really kind of stand out. Well, let's make it that green. So that way, and then you could left click, no outline, and you'd have a green star, a red star, a blue star, and you could just keep going. As long as you made a copy before you did anything, like just make a bunch of them, and you can make them different sizes and everything, but now that it's a border, we can use that blue, we can click on that one and make it that color, well, that's pretty close to the red, make it gold. And the only reason it looks like kind of red is because and I've lost my no feel. There it is. Is because of the, the red line of the feel. So that one's kind of burgundy, that one's kind of purple. And then we'll really make it purple when I right click or make it that blue. So that's how I would, it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, this would look pretty good for an engraver to make them all black. And uh, that would look a pretty good engraving of that blend really, really does good. I'm pretty excited about that. But anyway, I hope that answered his question. Thank you for watching.